Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will be doing a new topic that is the algebraic expressions. So we will see the part one of it. So actually first let us see what is the algebraic expressions. They actually they are formed by terms which contain both the variables and constant. So what are the variables, what are the constant and what are the terms? I will tell you from this example. So this is suppose this is the example 3x plus 5. So now you can see this is now here there is a plus sign over here. So whatever the sign is the symbol we can say or the sign. So either it is plus or minus. So whatever is before. So this is one and this is the second one. So we can say there are two terms in it. And the, what is the constant? So constant means it is without a variable. So you can see this 5. It doesn't have any variable. Variable means it can be any alphabet from A to Z. So this 5 is a number. So this is called a constant means we can say constant means it doesn't have any variable. So as I said, the variables are from A to Z. These are the variables. Now you can see this is 3x. 3x means it is going to be 3 multiplied by x. So now this x is called the variable. And this 3 along with this variable that is called the coefficient. Suppose I write a 5y. So 5 is the coefficient and this y is the variable. Oh, this is the constant variable and the coefficient is clear with the help of this example. So now let us go to the exercise and wherever needed, I'll give you the explanation. Now here they said identify the terms with terms with variables and their coefficients and the constant terms. Now here, as I told you now, if it is 5x plus 4, so these are the two terms, but here they are said terms with variables we have to see here. So now see here, this is the expression given. So we have to see the terms, we have to see the coefficient and the constant, but we have to see the terms with the variables. So you can also put here terms with variables in this column. So now, otherwise, if we are just this, they ask you the terms means there will be two terms, but the with variables means here there are two terms, but with variable there is only one term that is called the 4x. Then the coefficient, as I told you, whatever is with the variable, this is multiplied. So 4 is the coefficient in this one and the constant without the variable, this is called the constant that is going to be 8. In this expression, we can see the terms are this 7a square and we have to see along with the sign minus a and not this 16 because it doesn't have any variable. So now we are going to see the coefficient. Coefficient means now 7a square means now 7 is the coefficient. Here there is nothing means there is 1. So we can write here minus 1. And the constant, this is the constant. That is plus 6, we usually don't write plus sign. Now this expression, so which are the variables? Here the terms will be 1, 2 and 3 because this has a variable. So 1, 2 and 3. So minus 3cd. So now we are going to see the coefficient is going to be this one, 17, 11 and this is going to be minus 3. And here we don't have any constant because this all are along with the variables. So we can write here 0. Now here 1, 2. This is a constant. So these two are the terms. Then these are the coefficients and this is the constant. Again here, these are the terms. See here, when we write m by 2, means that is going to be half into m. So the coefficient is going to be 1 by 2. Here when we write here minus n by 3, so that is going to be here minus 1 by 3 into n. So that is going to be minus 1 by 3. And this is going to be the constant. Now here, these are the three terms. So the coefficient is going to be 9. Here will be 7 and here this is going to be 12. And here the constant is here 0. Classify the following as monomial, binomial and trinomial. So mono means one term. There will be binomial means two. Bi means two. Mono means one. And tri means three. So now this is the expression given. So here there are two terms, so we'll write a binomial. So here we can see there is nothing here. So only one, so that is going to be monomial. One, two, three. So that is going to be trinomial. 
1 and 2 so that is going to be binomial and here you can see there are two brackets but there is a multiplication sign in between so as i said earlier whenever we are we calculate the terms number of terms so in that one either that should be plus or minus in between the terms so that is a separator either plus or minus but here is multiplication so this is going to be considered as one single one that is going to be monomial so this is the important one this will be binomial this is going to be trinomial this again is going to be trinomial now you have to say choose pairs of like terms from the following so you know like means the same unlike means the different one so now see here the commas are given here so these are the different terms so what you can see here we can see a 14xy and this is going to be minus 6yx so either you write 1 into 5 is also 5 and if you write here 5 into 1 that also is going to be 5 so x into y that also is going to be xy and y into x is going also going to be xy so these are the like terms now if you go for the second one x square y and here is 21 y x square so that is same as x square y again here this is going to be 12 abc and this is going to be minus 17 sorry this is abc yeah this should be abc so both are the same now here 17 x y square again here the other one is going to be 4 x y square so you can see from this one so i have already written over here so now you can see n square m square and m square n square both are the same so that the, you can see this tail from this one same here 18 p q r and 15 p q r 18 p square q r and here p square q r so this is again the same so these are the like terms now here they have said i add the following so now what you can see this is one expression and there is a comma this is the other expression there is a comma and this is the third one so add means in between this wherever you see comma there you are going to put a plus sign so this is what i have done in the first step rest all is the same so now i have brought the like terms together so these all are the x that I have brought together and I have put a bracket over here. Now this is addition so I have added over here. Now again the y terms I have brought together and put in a bracket. Again the z term I have brought together and put it in a bracket. So now when you add this one you get 27x. After solving this 4 minus 11 plus 8 we get plus y. Means plus 1 means that is going to be plus y. And after solving this one, minus 3, minus 9, minus 6, we get minus 18z. So this is the answer. Same here. You can see the these are the commas and these expressions are going to be added here. Again, I put this together, piece together in a one bracket. Again here, q together along with the sign because minus, because minus is very important minus 8 minus 5 along with the sign you are going to put it minus 13 so this is in the other bracket again for the r you will put one one bracket and the constant one without a variable in one bracket so after solving this 7 plus 10 plus 8 plus 5 that is going to be 30p minus 8 minus 13 minus 5 plus 17 that is going to be minus 9q so here will be minus 14 plus 14 that is going we will get cut that is going to be 11 r and when you add this that is going to be 43 here again the commas are there so this will be plus sign in between so this is going to be all x squared together x together and the plus 4 is here so this constant together so 8 plus 7 plus 9 mi minus 9 plus 4 that is going to be 20 x square 7 minus 15 plus 11 minus 18 that is going to be minus 15 x and this is going to be plus 14 
same here that is the same one you can check here so see make it a habit by putting the like terms in the bracket because there are many terms so there are chances of making a mistake so put the like terms in the bracket so don't think of the steps but put the like terms in the bracket to avoid the mistakes so this is the answer for this one again here you can see same thing the commas are here means in that place you are going to add put a plus sign then you are going to bring the like terms together so that is in a bracket again this one that is in this other bracket because it is mn and here m n square that is together in the other bracket so when you solve this one that is going to be 40 m square n and you solve this part that is going to be minus 11 m n and when you solve this part that is going to be minus 15 m n square same here these are the commas so you are going to put an addition sign there bring the like terms together and put it in the bracket and then the last step you can check all the steps are given so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you